this portfolio um, I just grabbed and I haven't even looked at yet. So, <laughs> so we're going to look at it as we, uh, as we talk. But the reason I grabbed it, again, as I mentioned in my last little discussion, was it caught my eye. And um, it shows me that these students are um, passionate about design and, and really want to uh, showcase themselves individually in the work they do, and they, they really care about it. So a portfolio can tell a lot, of, I believe, uh, about a person and their integrity uh, as it relates to the the, the design profession, um, and both of these did that, so that's why I grabbed these. Um, so I'm just going to start going through it. This this portfolio, one of the things that I see right off the bat is that this is a student that really has spent a lot of time developing their um, their 3D modeling skills, computer uh, design and graphic skills, uh, and there's just some really um, interesting and pretty strong for, for students, I think, um, it's presentation skills and how they're putting together and, and sharing their projects um, with me. Um, the other thing that I'd like to see is um, the, the, the thought behind the design progression of, of a particular project. Why, why am I, look, why did the building end up the way it is? So any kind of any kind of little diagrams that help me understand their, their design thought is something that really um, I gravitate to and help me understand more about what, what the, what's important or what's meaningful about that project and what they want me to know about that project. Um, one of the pieces of advice that I always give students as they put portfolios together is as you showcase projects, pick out one or th two things about that project that you want me to learn about it. It, whether it's a project that you want to really highlight the sustainable design features that you that you've learned about and you incorporate in your design, if it's one that you want to share with me, um, your thought and design process, then then focus on that. Don't try to make every project be everything. Um, keep it simple and focus on what what it is that is the message you want me to get out of it. So. Um, this one looks like it's doing that. It's like each one of these projects has um, kind of a different, uh, a different look to it. This one it looks like the, the students really wants me to understand that they understand the tectonics of buildings a little bit, and which is good to know about students. Is you know, can they actually put go from concept to actually creating a, a building that could be built? And so there's some wonderful sections and details here that uh, I think are important. So, yeah, I, it's really in a very impressive um, portfolio. It's well put together, you know, that's the other thing. It's not going to fall apart. Right, yeah. Um, something I could have on my desk. I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I would, this is somebody I would, uh, there's some nice whimsy in here. I like that. I like to see that they... They have some outside um, artistic interest, and they do some fun things too. So that this is somebody that you know, I would probably call up and ask to come in for an interview. <laughs>